to finish up iron gate, we have the two thrusts, the imbrocata and the stoccata. So this is a bit of a longer section compared to the mandrita, for example, because there's a lot of things we can do here. So if I'm dealing with an imbrocata, first thing I can do is defend with the false edge, and then throw a reverso to the hand, because it's going to be quite exposed, and the head, for example, like we were hitting before, is not available. I have to go through their arm, through their wrist. We can also use the mezzo diverso, striking this arm away, and then coming up underneath with our own imbrocata. We can do something that's a little bit unique. This strikes us very Spanishy, but it is tres leg. Is as this one comes in, we're going to bring our point over top, make contact with the true edge and then strike them with a punta reversa to the inside. So essentially we want to do a cabezone over top of their weapon, maintaining contact, and strike into the chest. Finally, we could take a step back, clear the sword, and then hit with another stramazone. So essentially we are stepping back to beat the sword, and then stepping back again to hit the hand. If instead we do that with a stoccata, we have similar responses, except for now because it's a rising thrust, I have a few more targets available than just the hand. So it could be beat slice to face, it could be beat cut to head, or it could be beat, thrust, finish with a stramazone. We could of course use our number one option, beat with the reverse uh, squalimbro, and either cut the leg with another one, after which we would definitely want to go up to unicorn to avoid getting hit in the head, or a little bit safer, we could just turn that into a imbrocata ourselves. So we beat and thrust, kind of avoiding that uh, potentially risky situation. Last two is entrave, so we extend the meat, strike as they're coming in, and finally we can do the before, take a small step back, Really placing any weight on the right leg and then hit again with a stranzone. Uh, I will say these two actions are not my favorite because it is a lot of time. Uh, it works a lot better from Coda Wunga Strat and Alta because I don't need to worry so much about clearing the sword and go right for the hand that's coming in. But these are here, they do exist, so they can be done. Sword and dagger. If they are going towards our right side, which is very possible, we will use the outside slip, but because we're on my dagger is higher than my sword, it'll be an underarm reversal, just meaning that sword, least the attack is coming from under my arm as opposed to over my arm. Otherwise, it's functionally the same. So they come to the outside with their imbrocata, which is going to guide them away strike to the head, and still end in Cody Mocha Alta. We can use the Falso Manco, make sure it's sort of cut head, and cut to the top end. So the timing here is a little bit tricky, so it's beat, and cut to the leg. We can also use the Mezzo Riverso, which is going to be a little bit quicker now, because I can go directly to the Imbrocata. As opposed to going through a Ridopia, for example. If instead we're dealing with a Stoccata, we can again do the outside slip. We cannot go to the inside because of how we're standing. So we just guide and strike to the head, or we use Entrave and do the exchange first. Finally, we have the cloak, which is a 
few more options here if we're handling the in brocata here. Outside slip is still available. Uh, making sure that we are not uh, getting in our own way as we're doing this. Meaning I don't want my cloak weighing down my sword. So they come out to the outside, we guide them and strike to the head. A little bit more simply, we beat and thrust to the flank. Finally, stoccata, we can use entrare, or we can also use the outside slip. So it comes in, make contact, thrust, let's get out of there, or we slip and I cut the leg, or we could also thrust through the chest as a witness. This is a little bit, a little bit new. So it's either guide, cut to the leg, or guide, thrust to chest. So that concludes the third guard, Portida Strata, giving us three left, Cinghiali and two Alicorno. So we'll uh, get started with that next.